Hello, in this video I'm going to be answering the question, how do I choose which articles to use in my research? Now, when you begin a sizable research paper, whether it's a 10,000 word undergraduate dissertation or an 80,000 word PhD dissertation, one of the significant issues which arises in the beginning is where to start with the myriad resources that you'll find related to your topic. Now, it's important to prioritize these sources, and in this video, I'm going to give you three tips for how to do so. But firstly, to start with, I recommend following the four-step search strategy, which is pictured here on the screen. In this search strategy, I mention the importance of following a strategic search cycle when conducting your research. In this, you generate research questions, you search for the answers to these questions, and come up with further questions in a cyclical fashion to continue your research journey. If you'd like to learn more about the strategic search cycle, please click on the link in the description below. Once you have found a plethora of papers related directly to your topic of research, there are three tips, as I said, that I recommend you follow in order to get started with your research. First tip number one, read through the abstracts of the articles that you found to try to evaluate or assess how useful they might be for your research project. Now, the abstract is the short summary that you'll find in the article, usually below the title and before the introduction. If the articles you found do not have an abstract, don't worry. You can read the introduction, the headings of the article, look for any tables or illustrations, and read the conclusion to evaluate how useful it might be for your research. For instance, let's pretend my research question is how did the slave trade impact the British economy in the 18th century? And I found this article, and I'm trying to decide if it might be useful. I scroll down, and I see it does not have an abstract. So instead, I might peruse the introduction, so the first few paragraphs here, and then I would start looking at the headings. There's one, small ratios, and I'd also look for any charts or illustrations. Oh, and here's one, export and import shares. Profit ratios in the British slave trade. So I can already see from looking at this information that this is likely to be quite useful for my research. So I'll continue to peruse. I might have a look at the conclusion and then decide that it belongs in my most relevant pile. You shouldn't spend a lot of time doing this initial sift. I would recommend no more than one minute per article as you're making these evaluations. As you are prioritizing, I recommend separating your articles into three piles. So firstly, start with articles which seem most relevant to your research in one pile, another pile for articles that seem to have some relevance to your research, and a third pile for articles which you think might be useful for further research that you will do in your project. Then you can get started with the articles which you have deemed most relevant in that most relevant pile, and hopefully this prioritization has narrowed down your overall research findings quite considerably. Tip number two. If you are still struggling to narrow down the articles that you found, or indeed if you need tips for finding the most important work related to your field, I recommend perusing the references from some of the articles that you placed in your most relevant pile. Look in the footnotes or the in-text citations for articles or books which seem to be consistently referenced across the board. If this is the case, then it's quite likely that some of these consistently referenced works are considered seminal to the field or the argument that's being made, and I would highly recommend making your best efforts to find these seminal works and read them yourself. Also, as you're perusing the in-text citations and the footnotes, some authors of various articles will actually note who the key contributors are to particular arguments or fields of work. Make note of these as well. Here is an example of another article I found in my most relevant pile, when searching for the question on slave trade and the British economy. So I'm going to scroll down and peruse the footnotes to see what other resources I might consult in the course of my own research. Now I notice here in footnote number eight that the author of this article has actually identified key contributors to this particular argument. I might want to consult these. 
I also notice, in footnote 8, the mention of Eric Williams and his published hypothesis on this question. I also noticed Williams being cited in the previous article that I looked at, and this tells me that this is probably important, possibly a seminal work, and I ought to try to find it and read it for my own research. And finally, tip number three, use Google Scholar. So if you found some seminal works related to your research project, I highly recommend going to Google Scholar and searching for these works to see if there's anything else related to them by using the Cited By button below the title. So for example, if you found Article A, and this was really helpful to your research, go to Google Scholar and search for Article A. When it comes up, look below the title and below the description of Article A, and you'll see a little Cited By button. Now when you click on this Cited By button, it will bring up search results of all the different publications which have used Article A as a reference in their publication. And chances are, some of these references will also prove very useful to your research. So in previous articles, I found consistent mentions of Eric Williams and his hypothesis. I do some research and discover that Eric Williams' hypothesis is published in his seminal book, Capitalism and Slavery. So I go into Google Scholar and I search for that book to see who else has cited this particular resource. And I can see it has been cited by four, over 4,000 people. So if I click on that, it'll show me all of those results and it would be a good idea to peruse these and see if any of them might be useful for my own research. Now, of course, as we have over 4,000 results, I might want to narrow these further by searching within the citing articles and perhaps searching for something related to my research question, like British economy and the slave trade, which at least narrowed my results down by 50%. And then I might try to sift these down further using some of the filters, perhaps some more keywords, and then prioritize them as discussed in the beginning of this video. So those are my top three tips for how to prioritize your research. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel so you can keep updated on the new research tips videos. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below the description. And thank you for watching.